and welcome back to the channel. This is a quick update on the exocomet known as Free Eye Atlas. As you know, there were some claims that due to the lack of evidence or a tail on this comet that it could possibly be alien technology. That's now changed. There is now a tail evident. Observations made by the Gemini South Telescope on the 27th of August 2025 revealed a prominent tail and glowing coma emanating from the exocomet. This has allowed the scientists to now take some new measurements of the colours and composition. The image shows a broad coma, which is the name given to the cloud of gas and dust, which forms around the comet's nucleus as the ice and dust heats up when it gets closer to the sun. And now it also estimated the size of the object between 1,000 feet to a staggering 3.5 miles, which is quite broad. And as it travels in its hyperbolic trajectory, it's traveling at a staggering 130,000 miles per hour, which keeps it out of the sun's influence and gravitational pull. This means that this object's never coming back. And if it does come back the other way, then we need to revisit this. But because the tower is now visible, it's now acting like an exocomet, which is, which science has always been saying. So please don't be concerned. We're not gonna get invaded suddenly in November, December time by aliens and other nasties out there. It's still pretty cool, but it's still too far away from Earth to be any threat. The closest object it's going to come to is Mars, and that'd be within a staggering 18 million miles. But it's still 18 million miles away, but that's going to be the closest object on its current path. So Mars get a real good view of this. In the image captured by the team, the Y coma can clearly be seen, and its tail which stretches out to 1 to 120th of a degree in the sky. One degree is about the width of your little finger as viewed from an outstretched arm, just for information. Right, we're gonna, let's see where it is on the uh, life scan at the moment, see if it's changed. So let's just go back to atlascomet.com, make sure the trajectory has not changed in any way. This is today's date, the 10th of September 2025, and the distance from the object to Earth is 237,102,276 miles away. So still quite far away. So let's scroll through the days as it becomes closer. Let's just zoom in a little bit more so we can see. And the closest approach there to Mars is within, well, just under 18 and a half million miles away. So it's still quite a distance, even though when you zoom into this, it looks quite close. Mars will get a real good view of this. It's not been obstructed by any other objects, including the sun. So that'd be a real good vantage point for our Martian friends. So that'll go past and carrying on to Venus, closest approach. And again, the closest point to Venus is going to be over 60 and a half million miles away. So another good observation point, not as close as Mars, but still pretty good. And then obviously then we've got Earth's closest point which is here which is estimated to be on the 19th of December the sun won't be in a way uh, or any other objects um, but we're still going to be a staggering 167 million miles away just over um, so we're still it's still not changed still not going to be a threat to us and if we hop over now to the sky live.com uh, we get a bit more of a 3D representation of where the object is. So again, this is today, the 10th of September 2025. Uh, and that's where it is in relation to Earth. I've already gone through the distances, but I'd just like to show you on the animation as we pass through the days as it's moving through. Again, there's the close approach. If I put it back 27th of September, we're very close to Mars. As I said previously, it's going to be around about 18 million miles, 18 and a half million miles away. So still far away, but a great vantage point. Look at this one, the 3rd of September. Real close there. But it will continue and into October and November and December. So it's going past, nothing's changed. There's been no right hand turns uh, Earth side. So we're still fine. Nothing's really changed, so nothing really to worry about. And as expected, as it approaches the sun, it becomes more active and there'll be more tail and more coma visible. So we should really be in for a nice light show in around November, late November, December time, I reckon. Remember, the closest approach to Earth is 1.AU, and that's around about the 19th of December. 
So for those of you who've got really good telescopes, please send us some images. We'd love that. We don't have that kit. It's a bit expensive, um, but we'd love your footage and we can feature it on the next video. So we like to keep you updated. So please subscribe to the channel so you know when we know what's happening next. But we like to bring these facts to you because you deserve the truth and we demand it. Take care. This helps support us by giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to this channel. We thank you for joining us for this episode and be sure to look out for the next one.